Welcome back guys to another episode of my Barcelona career mode series and guys just before we get into today's episode can you guys drop a like rating on the video can we smash over 100 likes make sure you drop your comments down below and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a video from me thank you guys for 6,000 subscribers absolutely insane the growth of my channel and let's keep it up so as I said Let's get into today's episode against Real Betis Spanish Cup and this game in the Spanish Cup is in the round of 16 and uh, for me we did win the Spanish Cup during season 1 so this isn't my main priority uh, in this career mode series during the second season the main priority is to win the league and win the Champions League but it would be nice to win the Spanish Cup if we do make it there to the final again so guys as I said drop a like rating your guys support on this series has been insane I really hope you guys can keep it up because it's not long until the second season ends and then we will be moving on into another career mode series. I will be doing a career mode series vote for the new career mode so all you guys, all you guys can have your say on which career mode series you guys want me to do. So, the first highlight against Real Betis actually came from straight from kickoff as we do have David Alaba down the wing here. He's going to play a great ball to Messi as Messi's going to do a fake shot inside the box. He's going to try and finesse that one into the back of the net front post. He does hit the crossbar, so from that, Gundogan had a shot and his shot does go over the bar. So, two great chances there to get the first goal of this game. But in the 45th minute, in stoppage time, the ball gets played to Messi. What's Messi going to do here? Some great dribbling play here from Messi. He's going to make his way inside the box, just inside, and he's going to put that one into the back of the net. So it is, we do take a 1 0 advantage in the 45th minute of this game, and what a finish that is from Messi. As in the 72nd minute, Messi gets played through yet again as he's going to make his way inside the box, and Messi's going to make it 2 0 away in this game against Real Betis. Messi did return. I think in the previous episode or the episode before that, Messi did return from his injury and he is making an impact, scoring two goals in this game. But in the 83rd minute, we try and get another goal in this game as it is Cadrado down the wing here. He's going to make, make his way inside the box. He's going to do a fake shot. It is Cadrado with the finesse shot. He does hit the post and that one is denied by the post. But in the 90th minute, we're still pushing for that third goal as it is Yaya Toure going to play great through ball to Gundogan and what a finish that is from Gundogan. Our central midfielder puts that one just easy, easy, uh, tuck, tuckly, he easily tucked that one, sorry, into the back of the net. So 3-0 and uh, obviously we still do have a second leg against Real Betis at home. Um, but it is looking like we will be advancing into the quarterfinals of the Spanish Cup. So Messi with two goals and Gundogan also chipping in with a goal. As we are in the transfer window, guys. So um, Bayern Munich come with offer for to Steigen. And to Steigen has been playing very well in this cream mode series. I don't know why his morale is unhappy. He hasn't come... Oh, that that is why, because of the wages. So I might have to bump up his wages if he wants to stay at the club. And I am going to do that right now. Because to Steigen, during the second season, has been playing very well. And if he was to keep that, keep that up, uh, he will maintain his starting 11 position. As I am going to give him the, his player demands and what he wants so he can stay at the club. So Real Betis, this time we're playing him not in the Spanish Cup. We did play him in the first leg of the Spanish Cup as we did play him just then. But this time we're actually playing him in the league as we are currently sitting second in the league. If we do win this game, we do go one point behind Real Madrid. We've only lost one game during this season. As I said, against Real Betis, and this is sort of a Real Betis special episode of the Barcelona Career Mode series, you can call it that. So Real Betis, they are playing the, the exact same side as they did um, in the Spanish Cup game. And I was playing a similar side to the side that I played during the Spanish Cup, day, Cup game. I think it's exactly the same because there was a couple of days break bef uh, between each of those games. I think I did start Bravo in the Spanish Cup game, and I did start to Steigen for this game. In the first hole in the 24th minute, Real Betis have the first chance of the game, as they do come close to putting that one into the back net, but it was not to be, as their shot does go wide of their goal. But in the 28th minute, Marco Royce does take a shot, a nice save there from the Real Betis goalkeeper 
from that, Marco Royce had a chance to put that one into the back of the net, but uh, it sort of rebounded off him awkwardly, so we were denied. But in the 45th minute, in stoppage time, Marco Royce makes his way inside the box. It does hit the post, but off that rebound, Messi was in the right place at the right time, and he just got a nicely... Uh, just pass that one into the back net, you can say. He just nicely tucked that one into the back net, so he does make it 1-0. But during halftime, I did sub off Messi, Marco Royce, and Cadrado to put on Dalafeu, Luis Suarez, and Neymar. Because those three players are a great play. I think it was Lacazette, actually, I did put on. Yeah, it was Lacazette. But Lacazette, you know, he's been playing very well, but I can't put him into the starting eleven just because... Messi is just insane, but talking about Lacazette, he does get a goal to make it 2-1 in the 64th minute of this game. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series, really enjoying this series. Um, I'm really enjoying making these videos. So at full time, we do pick up a 2-1 victory against Real Betis. Not one of our best performances as we did beat them 3-0 in uh, today's earlier game. So I did sub off um, the three main attackers during halftime. Do you guys want me to do that in every single game? Because that is the only way I can play Suarez, Neymar and Lacazette. Uh, if I do sub off Messi, Cadrado and Marco Royce at halftime in every single game. Because otherwise Suarez, Lacazette and... Um, Suarez, Lacazette and Neymar are going to come to me complaining about their squad role. Just because, you know, I can't put them in for the likes of Marco Royce and uh, Lacazette and Suarez. Because those three starting attackers, Cadrado, Royce and Messi, have been insane. They've earned their starting 11 position. So there is really no way I'm going to take them out of the squad. As there was one player that was heavily requested for me to get was ha Halilovic. I think that's how you say it. He's from Barcelona B, but he's worth £19.5 million. Pounds, and I just... To be honest, I don't want to pay that much money on a 19-year-old that isn't going to start in every single game. As Real Betis is the next game of today's episode. And I am going to simulate it because there is no point in me playing it. As we did win the away leg 3-0. So there's no, po no point of me playing this game. As I am going to simulate it. And we do pick up a 3-1 victory. So on aggregate, we do get a 6-1 victory over Real Betis on aggregate aggregate but Marco Royce did pick up an injury there but uh, luckily for us it wasn't a long-term injury so right here guys I still want to bring in Halilovic I think that's how you say I'm not 100% sure as I said he's at Barcelona B 19 years of age they want 19.5 million but I'm gonna put it just under to 7 million because as I said I don't want to be playing 19.5 million pounds on a 19 year old that isn't going to start in every single game so as you guys see Atletico Madrid come with offer for Cadrado which I do flat out reject Cadrado there's no way I'm letting go of a beast, uh, a player like a Cadrado. So we are getting into the final game of today's episode against Osasuna in the league. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you drop the video a like rating. Can we smash 100 likes on this video? Make sure you drop your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a video from me. And this is our chance to go first in the league, guys. If we do win this game, we will jump up to first in the league, which is insane. So this is the side that I went with, our strong Strongest starting 11 for this game. And as you guys will see, Osasuna side, they're currently sitting 19th in the league. So they're currently sitting second last. So they are very low. They will be fighting uh, to get out of that relegation zone. But let's get into this game against Osasuna as the first highlight of this game did actually come in the 29th minute as we do have Gundogan on the ball he's going to play an amazing through ball to Cudrado down the wing a nice fake shot to get around the defender there plays it to Messi Messi does lose the ball can Messi win it back no it's Cudrado with the shot and his shot does go wide but what a fake shot that was from Cudrado just to get around his defender there but in the 70th minute of this game there wasn't too much highlights as Messi's got Messi's going to play a through ball to Neymar one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper it's the Brazilian who is going to 
put it into the back of there. So Neymar makes it 1-0 in this game. I did sub on Neymar in the second uh, half of this game. As in the 73rd minute, not long after we got our first goal, it is Yaya Toure wins the ball, gives it to Messi, makes his way inside the box. It is Lionel Messi, nicely tucked finish, and we are most likely going to be making our way up to first position in the league after this game. And what a finish it was for Messi. An easy, calm finish into the back of the net. As in the 90th minute, also soon I have a chance to get a consolation goal. They do do that with a header. But at full time, we will be picking up a 2-1 victory against Osasuna and we are making our way up to first but if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure you drop the video a like rating drop your comments down below make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a video from me and other than that guys I'll see you all tomorrow for another episode of the Barcelona career mode series